Tesla at Gigafactory Texas is setting the stage for ultra high production volume and lower cost of Model Y. You are seeing a rare and unseen image of Tesla Model Y with both front and rare castings at Gigafactory Texas. This is amazing, right? By the way, this I, we should mention that this picture is not new. We saw it on Tesla owner's online Twitter page who says it was in the investor stock released by Tesla at the last earnings call. Guess nobody noticed it. In fact, nobody did, but we were all amazed a couple of days ago when we saw the first pre-production Tesla Model Y coming out of Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Texas employees later once the image went viral covered it i'm going to talk about that but you know it's nice and front rare castings that you're seeing in this model y wonder if these will be using 4680 structural battery pack as well as or a little more down the road for that now i'm guessing that combination should improve handling substantially so what happened tesla showed this image and we didn't notice but we were all so now we should not be amazed if we're saying the first pre-production Model Ys coming out of Texas Gigafactory. Um, we saw a Model Y at Tesla Gigafactory in Austin after it was spotted and pictured where seen the car was quickly covered up by employees of Tesla. This appears to be a pre-production version of the Model Y friends that you saw. We recently received news from the Tesla first Model Y electric crossover vehicles being produced at pre-produced at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. This appears to be be a pre-production vehicle. The vehicle was quickly covered and moved to a new location by Tesla employees. This is according to the Twitter user Joe Techmire, who provides Tesla Giga factory Austin reliable information and drove, uh, drone flyovers. We have known that Tesla is getting ready to ramp up production in its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, and that it is going to start with the Model Y first instead of the Cybertruck. This is because the demand for the Model Y continues to increase and Tesla wants to be able to satisfy that demand. And Tesla has also said that it wants to make the Model Y electric crossover the best selling vehicle in the world. That means it has to sell more of them than Toyota Corolla, which sells hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Corollas. I don't remember the number off the top of my head, friends. Also, the Cybertruck is still in the prototype stages and hasn't reached volume production while requiring new hardware and cameras for full self-driving. The first Model Y pre-produced at Gigafactory Austin, Texas was seen and then quickly covered and we were wondering why. Was it covered because it was a different car than the Model Y or is Tesla trying to hide the fact that they are getting ready to produce the Model Y sooner than expected. There was a second Tesla vehicle on a conveyor belt behind the Model Y and we also wonder if that is a second Model Y and what is being done with these two vehicles. According to Joe, these are test vehicles. Let's explain what that means. Test vehicles are produced in order to work out the bugs and issues with the vehicle that is being produced. The vehicle will likely be run through a number of tests and rigorous quality control in order to determine if they will hold up over the long term. Because Tesla has already been producing Model Y vehicles, I'm confident, says jo uh, John, uh, from uh, Torp News, uh, Jeremy Johnson, I'm sorry, from Torp News Tesla team. He says, I'm confident it won't take them long to iron out the process of the test model Y vehicles in Austin, Texas. If there are problems at the Gigafactory, it's likely going to be with the machines and assembly line rather than the vehicles themselves because Tesla already has Model Y vehicles on the road right now, being them, uh, producing them in Fremont factory and also in Gigafactory Shanghai. So Tesla already has a good international experience with producing the Model Y electric crossover. Jeremy Johnson from Tesla, uh, from Torque News Tesla team says, I expect that within a couple of months, we will see the first Model Y vehicle delivered from Austin, Texas, and that production will continue to ramp up month after month until we reach volume production in 2022. Seeing vehicles in Austin, Texas is good news because it means that the Gigafactory is likely 
company on track to produce vehicles. Good news for Tesla, Tesla investors, and future of renewable and sustainable energy. Um, friends, let me say that I'm not a Tesla stock owner. I said it's good news for Tesla investors, but this is a disclaimer that I'm not a stock owner. I, am not, I don't hold any electric vehicle or Tesla stocks. I am not in the stock market at all. I don't have any stocks. Friends, what do you think about the Tesla Model Y being shown in Austin, uh, Texas? Why was the vehicle quickly covered? Is Tesla trying to hide something? Now, I think Tesla will be the one to bail out the legacy car manufacturers by licensing out their full self-driving and battery technology and charging stations and motors and pin pops and etc. Pretty much just buy the Tesla without the body and place legacy OEM body on it. I guess this was a thought on our YouTube channel by one of you. This is the first Model Y to come off the production line. There may be mistakes and flaws that need to be addressed. This is only normal and is um, not for public view. This is why probably Tesla covered it, right? I asked uh, why Tesla covered it and some people here answered saying it'll take a lot longer to debug the production line and you can't scheme on this part because it'll affect every cars you produce uh, or Tesla produces. So I think they don't want people to get the hope up and be severely disappointed when it's still long time away from real production. I think they covered the pre-production car because the factory is still being built and dust and small debris is all over the place. Hence, you would want to minimize the things, uh, dings, scratches and dents. Jason Taylor has an interesting idea uh, saying, I hope the LFP batteries make it into the Model Y to bring back the standard range trim. I'm sure a lot of Model Y orders are for the LR uh, just because that is the current entry level for that model. Bringing back the standard range could encourage some in line to get the standard range instead, thus making the line shorter for everyone else. Uh, my late July order is now estimated in January, says Taylor. Overall, this is exciting, friend. So Giga Factory Texas will beat Giga Berlin to start production first, hopefully as for covering up that first test car you have to remember that this is the first car in the world that will be made by both front and back bench pressed this is a one of its a kind car so the model y is such a great car friends it will sell in high numbers in my opinion all over the world all they have to do is to increase supply and continue to lower the price as the supply becomes available to meet the new demand that is stimulated by the lower price well, friends, let me know what you think. What do you think about this Model Y rare casting and front casting in Gigafactory, Texas? I think that was a rare image. What do you think about this? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and join our community. And as you give me your time, I want to give you something back really valuable, friends. We live in this world full of turmoil. We need to change our way we live. We need to stop and slow down a little bit. Repent from the wrongs we have done the lord of god uh, the word of god says turn away from all your offenses turn away from your sins then sin will not be your response uh, then sin will not be your downfall read yourself of all the offenses you have committed and get a new heart and a new spirit why will you die people says the lord for I take no pleasure in the death of anyone declares the sovereign lord repent and live Ezekiel chapter 18. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you, with your families. And I'll see you soon in our next report today. God bless you, everyone.